Hello again. Today I'm going to solve page 9, page 10, and page 11, which is revision. So, let's start with page 9, exercise 1. Exercise 1 is about the vocabulary that we have learned in module 1. It says, read and circle the correct word. So, let's read the whole sentence and circle the correct word. Number one, are you a or an artist, photographer? You take great photos. So, photos, it has to do with artist or photographer. Very good. Photographer. Now, number two, this is Tom's author or neighbor. What's the meaning of neighbor? Very good. Neighbor, Matt Hajar. So, this is Tom's to author or neighbor. He lives in the ne in the house next to his. Next in the house next to his. So neighbor. Very good. Jar. Number three. Marsha and Jim want to go camping or climbing, but they haven't got tents. Tents. What's the meaning of tents? Tents means khayma. So, when do we use tents? In climbing or camping? Camping, very good. Number four, we always buy souvenirs or awards when we visit a new place. So, when we visit a new place, what do we buy? Souvenirs, souvenirs, tithkarat. Number five, Mr. Tracy, can I help your, can I have your drawing or autograph here in your book please so can i have your drawing no can i have your autograph autograph number six that's franco the well-known or serious singer the well-known and ma'roof just like famous very good so let's jump to exercise two exercise two is grammar 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 uh, we have to use or we have to complete the sentences with the present simple or the present progressive number one the kids watch a cartoon at the moment yes they are so we have at the moment at the moment it means right now right now so what do we use what do we use present simple which we use for uh, for the uh, things that happened every day for daily routine or present progressive that we use it to talk about the events that's happening now what do we use very good present progressive so are the kids watching a cartoon at the moment yes they are number two sue not like basketball but she loves football so that's a fact about sue it's something like she let's say she does every day she doesn't like a basketball but she loves football so it's not happening at the moment that's what i mean it's not happening right now so what are we going to use Present simple, very good, because this is a fact about Sue. How the Hakika and Sue. So Sue doesn't like basketball. We use doesn't because Sue is a singular and it's she. She doesn't like basketball. Number three, we have Tom and Mary. Tom, your father sells shoes in his shop. Oh, so Tom is asking Mary, your her father sell shoe in his shop no he only clothes so he sell he sells only clothes so what are we going to say is that happening at the moment how did they say just happening at the moment no so we are going to use a present simple does your father sell shoes in his shop no he doesn't only clothes Number four, Judy and Carol not go hiking on Sundays, they go climbing. So, 
on Sundays, it means every Sunday. Sundays means every Sunday. They don't go hiking. They go climbing. So, it's not happening at the moment. It's not happening now. It's happening like every every Sunday. So, we're going to say don't go. Judy and Carol, it means they. They don't go hiking on Sundays. They don't know they don't go hiking on Sundays. Number 5. Mr. Jones not interview anyone now. You can go in. So, now it means at the moment, at the moment of speaking. Mr. Jones isn't interviewing anyone now. Isn't interviewing anyone now. You can go in. <clears throat> Number six. You go to the beach every summer? Yes, we do. Every every it means not now not at the moment no we have every so we're going to use present simple do you go to the beach every summer yes we do yes we do very good all right now let's go to exercise three which is also about grammar but now we're going to use past simple where we have to use did okay uh, we have like a dialogue between Anna between Anne and Lisa so Anne says hi Lisa what you do at the weekend what you do at the weekend so what did you do at the weekend now why do uh, we use it in the base form because we have did. بما إنه عندنا did بال sentence بالجملة, so had it did, it will take the the past tense. هي اللي راح تأخذ الزمن الماضي. So the main verb, هنا the main verb عندنا do راح يبقى بال base form بدون أي تغيير بسبب ال did. Now Lisa says, well, on Saturday morning, I help my mother at home so did you see any did in here shift to a did of the jumla no there is no did so we have to make this this verb in the past tense and so we have the verb i helped my mother at home and in the evening i go become went i went to the cinema with my friends we watched Johnny Depp's last latest film. Anne says, "Be good, okay. Be it good." So what's this? Be. Be means an auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb. فعل مساعد. So what do we use uh, as an auxiliary verb in the past simple? We use was and were. Okay. Was we use it with he she and it were we use it with a uh, uh, plural so here we have it what are we going to use was very good we're going to use was was it good was it good oh yes i loved it but charlie not like it not like we have negative here so we have to use did so charlie didn't like it what about sunday what about sunday i stayed home and watched tv did you have a nice weekend look have stays the same in the base form because we have did did you have a nice weekend oh yes on Saturday morning, Kelly and I rode. Very good. Ride becomes road. Ride yaqud. Road. In the past, rode our bikes to the to a beach not very far from here. We took some fo food and our tents with us, and we not come back so not we have negative what do we use didn't didn't come back until sunday afternoon we 
had a great time we had a great time very good okay now let's uh, go to the next exercise which is on uh, in page 10 in page 10 well this exercise is about reading reading let's read and tick and sometimes more than one answer can be correct so let's start reading about this man Ernest Hemingway Ernest Hemingway so who is her Ernest Hemingway Ernest Hemingway was one of the most famous writers of the last century century was the meaning of century very good Karen he was the author of many books and he won many awards one of them was the Nobel Prize in literature literature who well adab but who was he he was born in Chicago Illinois in 1899 he had five brothers and sisters his father was a doctor and his mother was a singer when he was 17 years old he got his first job for a newspaper in Kansas City later he worked as a reporter for Canadian and American newspapers. He traveled a lot and he lived in Paris for a few years. He wrote books and short stories. One of his most famous stories is The Old Man and the Sea. Hemingway loved sports. He played football. He also liked fishing and camping. Okay, now let's solve the uh, uh, the questions. Let's uh, choose the correct answer. Maybe more than one answer is correct, so it's okay. Let's start with number one. What was Ernest Hemingway? What was Ernest Hemingway? Ernest Hemingway was he an author, a reporter, a doctor, or a singer? Well, um, he was an author, and he was also a reporter very good his father was a doctor his mother was a singer now number two where was he born he was born in Chicago Illinois number three what did he write what did he write poems articles yes books and short stories yes he wrote short stories books and articles number four how many awards did he win how many awards a specific number or they didn't mention it they just said many many awards they didn't give like a specific number number five what did he love what did he love he loved nature very good he loved sports and he also loved the sea look Hemingway loved the sports all right he also liked fishing which is the sea and camping which is the nature all right good job now let's jump to exercise 5 which is in page 11 this is about writing Write about what you and your family are going to do on your holiday. Use the ideas in the box and your own and your own ideas. So, what? Uh, imagine like you are going on a holiday. Otla. So, what are you going to do in this holiday with your family? Are you going to play tennis? Are you going to go swimming? Swimming? Are you going to go hiking? Are you going to go climbing? camping do some sports dance buy souvenirs what are you going to do okay I'm gonna give you some examples okay so here's my suggestion you can say we are going to go hiking and we're going to go climbing as simple as that maybe you want to do more things like you're going to go uh, camping too you're going to go swimming it's totally up to you to write as much as you can but you can write these two sentences it's totally okay thank you very much see you in another lesson